Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director, and I'm here with Adam McIntyre, Young Adults Pastor, who just brought our Father's Day message. Welcome, Adam, Thank and you. happy first Father's Day to you. Thank you. Yes, yeah. and uh, you shared a great message uh, today about chasing Jesus. And yes. uh, we did have some questions come in. Great. Uh, so I'm just going to jump into them. Please. Um, so the first one is a very important question. Okay. Okay. Uh, we want to know what grade did you get on the chimney? That is a great question. And it's one that unfortunately I don't really remember. <laughs> I do know that um, they he gave us our grade before the oh. chimney collapsed. So I'm pretty sure so it was it's a, probably better. It's probably a good grade, but yeah, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's go with a. That's a great an a. analogy of the foundation and yeah, and building. You. Great illustration there. Yeah. Um, okay, so another question that came in uh, is talking about uh, our faith being built on Jesus, and right. they ask if our faith is built only on Jesus, then why does the church place other mandates on us before we can become members? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so first, I'd say that you being the member of a church mm -hmm. doesn't make you a Christian. Mm -hmm. Again, submitting your life to Jesus, that is what makes you a Christian. And I think we also need to differ differentiate here between um, the capital C church, mm -hmm. the universal like church, the big... right? The part of the church that we are all a part of, and mm -hmm. then the, the small C church, the local community mm -hmm. like Faith Bridge. Um, the moment that you submit yourself to Jesus and you mm -hmm. surrender your life to him, you are a part now of the capital C church. And, and that's what we, expect you to participate in it, be a it's part of it. It's a larger body. Yeah. Right. Um, however, the, the, the small C church, like Faithbridge, um, we have different things that uh, we require, and, and every church does, uh, and every church is going to have different requirements, but for Faithbridge, we have things that we want to make sure that you're a part of to ensure that your faith is growing mm -hmm. um, and to make sure that uh, we're held accountable, that you don't let astray. All the things I talked about in my sermon about why community is crucial, um, that we encourage each other to grow and to be knit together um, uh, in the love of Christ. And so things like we ask you to join a serve team and a grow group. Well, that's because we know that if you're not in community, mm -hmm. your faith isn't going to grow. Mm -hmm. It's just not going to go anywhere. And mm -hmm. also we've been commanded by Jesus to go out and to serve others. And that's another way our faith grows by mm -hmm. serving and loving the least of these. Because when we do that, we're serving and loving Jesus. And then baptism is another one because uh, baptism is a public proclamation of your faith. And so we want to make sure that before uh, you, we call you a member of Faith Bridge, before you call yourself a member of Faith Bridge, that you have announced to the world, first of all, I am a follower of Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, and that I have been buried with him in his death and raised to walk in newness of life. And so, and, and those are the requirements that we have. And that's it. And again, every church has different requirements. But the bottom line, if you submit yourself to Jesus, that's what makes you a Christian, not being a member of a church. Good. That's a great answer. Um, okay. So another question that came in um, was around the rules of Christianity. So how does the love of Jesus affect those who continue to live in promiscuity, gay relationships, profanity, unrelenting anger or bitterness? Do we simply say, it's not my place to judge, so as long as we agree on the death and resurrection of Jesus? Another great question. Um, so first, let me say, again, the foundation of our faith is Christ crucified and his resurrection, period. The, the rules of Christianity, whatever, whatever you want to call it, uh, those are things that are built on top of the foundation of our faith. Um, and, uh, and then I'll also say that uh, for Christians, us, we are told explicitly by Jesus never to judge anyone. Um, and that when we judge others, we are uh, condemning mm -hmm. ourselves. It's the role of the Holy Spirit to convict others of their sin and then to um, do a work of transformation in their lives, to lead them to repentance. That's not our role. It's not our role to call out other people uh, on their sins. Now, um, there are situations when you are in close community where we are called to hold each other accountable, to make sure that we don't, uh, like Paul talking to the Colossians, not make sure we're not falling prey to like philosophy and empty deceit and human traditions, elemental spirits, those types of things. But that's where this question is a little bit tricky because I'm not sure of the context of this question. Um, like how well do we know this person who is um, acting out of anger or is living in bitterness or in pro promiscuity, whatever it is. Um, 
Is there a trusting relationship there? Do you know and love one another well enough that you can speak honestly to that person and then they, they can speak honestly back to you? Um, otherwise, what you're doing is you are just uh, causing them to feel guilt and shame um, and, and then you're risking judging mm -hmm. uh, that person. Uh, and again, um, before we do any of those things, uh, a lot of times before we look at the speck in our neighbor's eye, we need to look at the log in our own. And so. This is a tough question because it's so much of it is about context and how well you know that person. Um, and if you're in community together, um, and, and then I'll say this too, um, when you are pursuing Jesus, when you have submitted your life to Christ, a lot of these things, um, if you truly are following him, they do fade away. Um, and uh, things like anger and bitterness, if you're following Christ, those things are gonna be melted away by his love. Mm -hmm. Um, and so it's not necessarily our job to call out people on their problems um, and force them to fix it. A lot of times um, we just need to pray and, and, and hope that the Holy Spirit is doing a work of transformation. I think, that's, I think that's good. I, um, you know, I grew up uh, not understanding the relationship part right. of Jesus. I knew all the rules. I knew the rules and right. I knew I was supposed to follow them and I knew how hard it was to follow them. It wasn't until... Um, I was a young adult and I had a relationship with Jesus and I began to love him that yeah. I began seeing, oh, this is a different process. This is right. inside out. Exactly. And it's taken years for the Lord to remove some of these things and I have a long way to go. But I, I think what you said today is important that foundational yes. has to be the love relationship with Jesus Absolutely. Uh, before, some, before he, the Holy Spirit can begin to work on exactly. some of these things. Exactly. And a lot of times if they have that foundation, mm -hmm. again, they're going to grow uh, in their faith and their relationship with Him. And a lot of these things, again, they begin to fade away. They can't help but fade away uh, in the light of His love. It just, it's just something that kind of naturally happens a lot of times. Well, that's a great message. Yeah. And I hope you get to go home and relax yes. and enjoy the rest of your Father's Day today with that sweet girl. Yes, uh, thank, thank you for the message. And thank you for joining us here for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.